Hello friends, it is Tourist here with Future Music and I'm gonna be showing you through one of my tracks called Ithaca from my new album, Memory Morning. Let's get into it. I don't tend to do these kind of track things, um, but you guys are worth it and yeah I often get questions about it so um, as with a lot of my music um, it kind of starts with samples and this track is no different um, yeah I was wandering around listening to music and this tune came on which is by a 90s group called Smoke City and it's called Julieta interlude number two Something happened yesterday. I feel lost. I'm afraid of my love. Lost another. I think I kind of heard those vocals and I loved this lyric. Whether she was saying it or not, it sounded like she was saying, I'm afraid of my love lost in my heart. And I think with a lot of my music, the lyrics and the words tend to be slightly buried as to what they mean. And I think maybe that's why people like them. They can kind of impart their own meaning onto it. But that, specifically, that little phrase really stood out to me. Um, so in the project here, I sampled, we have the audio. There's this one here, which was in the background of the track, and to me that sounded like a bird, um, which is a really weird artifact. And then here I have the vocals themselves, so if I go back, I think that's got a little bit of effects on it. I'll put a bit of a click here. Let's turn that down. Okay. And for me, that really stood out as something interesting. So here we've got on this track, we've got a Valhalla reverb. We do quite a lot on it, take everything away. It's just great, it just sounds a little bit dry. So I've got a couple of effects on there. But those chords, I think they, sorry, the, the vocal itself, really had, I was hearing chords over it already and I was on, I think I was on holiday making this tune and I just heard this melody beneath it. I literally heard it. I was like, oh, this should be the chords underneath. And I think I played that literally on my laptop keyboard. If we go into the MIDI file, we could probably see, yeah, look, all of the, all of the notes are at the same velocity there's very little there that's expressive. I mean, maybe this section, the bass comes in or something. I'm hearing more, maybe not. Maybe the EQ. Oh yeah, so the EQ there is automated. But I heard those, for me, that just sounded nice together. I've got these other chords here, wide chords. I just dig in there. definitely a preset from Omnisphere, because why not? Um, I may have altered it slightly, distorted triangle drops, there you go. Let's see if that works. Something like that. How does it go? I can't even remember it. <laughs> oh, it's there, of course. So that was it, really. Proper professional. 
professional musician here. I played it on my laptop, so it felt kind of awkward to try and remember it. Um, so those chords really formed a nice bass there for just really melodically what was gonna happen through the track. And as with a lot of my music, it doesn't really do much and doesn't really change very much melodically. There aren't a huge number of chord changes and stuff, but really what it does is it just diverts from that theme into different places. So one of the other things that I thought was super important was just finding a really nice drum beat. And the thing with this drum beat is it's literally just that. It's a sample from somewhere I cannot remember from where. I've clearly like automated a little bit of um, re uh, echo there. But the main echo on, the tr on these drums is giving this really, it's doing a lot of like propulsive, like syncopated ryth rhythmic work. So we have these drums here, and then I put in some more drums, which is, looks like a duplicate of the same thing, but perhaps pitched down and distorted. So there's a lot going on here, decapitator, yeah, a little bit of um, multi band compression and stuff. More reverb. I mixed this tune with my friend Tom, who is very responsible for a lot of the mixing. Well, most of the mixing on this record. Some more of the drums. And arrangement wise, the tune doesn't do a huge amount. It just kind of meanders on in its own way. So we have this intro here. Classic me. <laughs> um, an interesting fact about this tune is that basically that field recording you hear there, that is from a quarry in Menorca. And the name of the quarry is Lithica. Um, I'm gonna show you a picture. So if we go here, this is this absolutely magical place, like completely beautiful. I went there with my wife and my daughter and we we're just walking around. And it's honestly so beautiful, but right in the center of this quarry, they've got a uh, kind of like a paradise garden almost. And there's like birds and um, all this just beautiful nature in the middle of this you know, man-made structure. And it really transported me. But for some reason, when I was recording the audio note, I, I wrote Ithaca as opposed to Lithica. So Ithaca is obviously like linked to like, you know, Greek mythology and then as a place in, in, in Greek mythology, but also there's a place in upstate New York, I'm told. Um, so I should have probably called the tune Lithica, but I called it Ithaca. Um, interestingly, on the track on the track list of Memory Morning, I think Ithaca comes after Siren. Siren being another part of like Greek mythology. I thought that Ithaca was kind of fitting quite nice, but that uh, that audio uh, field recording, sorry, that you hear, that's the sound of that. That's me there with those chords. Um, Very important sample here. We have a loon, which is from, I can't remember, you might be able to, do you remember the old sampler from, is it the emu sampler from the early 90s? But this sound, to me, is like 1992 or 93 or something like that. Um, and I just loved that. I had to put that in there. The wonder of the internet. And then the tune kind of goes into this quite trip hop -y. Loads and loads of dense chords, uh, like arpeggiated synths, natural meter, some nice high pads. A lot of this is again on the sphere. Loads of reverb. Honestly, I am the king of presets. One of 
those tunes that just really doesn't do a huge amount. But honestly, I just, I really love it. Like it doesn't do much, but it's just a mood. And I think that sometimes I'm successful at doing that. So we've got like a bunch of different hi-hats. I, like, I really love that clap sound. Could not tell you where it's from. Just endless sample samples on my computer, all terribly named. I think those drums have such a nice quality to them, like really caramelly kind of feel somewhat like they're in a nice box. Um, there's a lot, of, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of textures and stuff. Changes here. really morphs from one thing into the other with this tune it kind of starts super dreamy and then I really wanted it to get super aggressive like I grew up listening to a lot of like air I remember you know that band from the well that band yeah huge band really important in my life um, and I remember they would do these one themes that would just trans tr kind of transform into one thing into something much 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 more dif much different for the for the second half and um, yeah, I really wanted to take this idea of this really gentle, beautiful thing, and then at about, what, what are we like, 43 bars in, mutate it into something super aggressive and unstable, and I really did that at this section here, so the track. <laughs> Yeah, so at this point I really wanted the track to morph into something more aggressive and I think the way I did that was repeating this vocal here which sounded like wake up to me and then just building on that with layer upon layer but actually stripping the track back quite a lot so there's not a huge amount going on in this section here there's much less than there is here you can see this is the portion before the break but here I just really wanted to hone in on on the bass and the synth sounds in the track, so if we listen to what's going on. You've got that repeated vocal looping, but then the bass is just... which I really like. Because that's, I mean, that distorted arp here, what is that? That's another atmosphere with this devil LOC thing, giving it an absolute smash. Um, and then we've got those three elements, basically. I'm an absolute like, sucker for like 80s synth pop. I just love it. It's just deep in my DNA, so I'm always going to put those kind of things in there. And I feel like this is a bit like if the Drive soundtrack was taken on acid or something like that. So... Kind of 
kind of that is some really chopped up vocals from that original um, Smoke City sample. And I just, it gives this texture thing that I really like um, with all the other elements. <laughs> So all of those elements are really just providing all of that intensity that I wanted and I clearly I am like modulating the filter resonance or the cutoff on there which I love because it sounds kind of 90s in a corny way but in a, in a good way really. <laughs> Yeah. So, so those kind of filter elements. Um, and then after that, obviously. There's the loon again. Oh yeah, this is quite a funny little bit here. So a funny thing about that section there is that my friend who I was mixing the track with Tom, he was like, I feel like we should cons kind of contextualize that main piano thing, uh, sorry, the main uh, chord melody by getting you to play it on the piano and playing it against that original field recording, just because it's this interesting little aside. It's not on the grid, it's not in tempo. So he kind of, he literally like picked up a MIDI keyboard, chucked it on my knees and said, just play the thing. And I did, and we've got this random little track here. And it's so quiet. And look, like he just did this to the EQ. He just like put it, made it sound like it was, I don't know, on some completely old tape or something. Put a little delay on there. And then played it with, uh, yeah, the field recording and then just that, the kind of vocals that we had. Maybe it's louder. Yeah. So that's just, he wanted to kind of reference this tune was simply made out of those chords and he wanted to just highlight them in a completely different context at the end of the tune. So shout out to Tom for that one. So that is a look at my track Ithaca. I really wanted to make something that felt really simple in its most primal elements. You know, it's, there's not a lot going on in this tune, but I wanted it to just sound like this dream or this thought that enters your consciousness is there for a fleeting moment and then kind of just leaves just as you've started to enjoy it. So um, yeah. That is uh, my, my track Ithaca from my new album, Memory Morning. I am Tourist. Thank you, Future Music, for having me.